What's up, jewelry aficionados? Rodriguez and Sons of State Jewelers here. What's up, Victorian jewelry era aficionados? What's this? It's a one carat sapphire, 14 carat yellow gold, antique bracelet with Russian hallmarks. This is Victorian era stuff, folks, from the 1870s. And yes, it's Russian, very desirable jewelry. Why is Russian desi uh, jewelry desirable? Well, there's a rich history with the Russian czars and the Russian family and the court and how many of them had to flee or were executed in the 1910s, 1920s. And, but also the jewelry was really fabu back then. You had faber J making pieces for the Russian court. And, you know, when the communists took over, a lot of the jewelry escaped the country, but also a lot of the jewelry was stuck in the country. So it's a bit of a rare thing, but also Fabergé, the craftsmanship on this antique Russian jewelry is phenomenal. So we have this, what looks like a tube bracelet. It has about 50 to 60 of these tube-like links, which are really fun. And they have markings on each tube. There's thousands of markings. So these sapphires are natural sapphires. They're totaling a carat. The center ones are really bright and clean. And then the ones on the side of that, a little more murky and cloudy. And then the small ones on the very ends are bright and clean. And so you have a lot of character in these stones as nature would have made it. It's not all cookie cutter. This is a perfect length, seven and three fourths inches. And, and because we got this cool clasp here that makes it really long, it just slips on easy like a pair of warm slippers or just your favorite bathrobe. It's a really fun wear. It just has a really good feel to it. It's heavy. It's 27 grams. It's 14 karat yellow gold. And it is, I already said everything. Um, but what was going on in the 1870s in Russia? A um, lot of economic and social reform. Alexander II of Russia was in power. He uh, ended the Surf Dome in 1861, the same year that America started Civil War, which would end slavery. And there were a lot of writers, some of the most famous novelists of all time coming into popularity, like Leo Tolstoy and um, what's his name? Uh, gosh, what's his name? He wrote the brothers Karamazov. Leo Tolstoy and Let's see, what else? Oh, a uh, university was being promoted big time in Russia. And also, I like this, there was global military conscription in Russia at the time. So that meant not even the nobles could escape from doing what everybody else had to do. No matter how much money you had, you still had to do your part from the country. I like that. And anyways, it's a little bit of history. Here it is again, one more time cold blue um sapphire russian bracelet and just a very unique look it's an antique and it's filled with history and just a nice contrast between the blues and the industrial looking coils thank you for watching